Jaipur is a city in India, but it's also a card game where two merchants compete in a marketplace to make the most money. I'm Zach Scott, and this is Quick Play. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing a Jaipur. I think that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> J-A-I-P-U-R. This is a, a card game that I've downloaded and I've been playing a lot of lately. I've been kind of playing a lot of board games that have a digital format and Jaipur is one of those that does have a digital format. I've been only playing against computers. I haven't really gone online or anything like that. Uh, I've just been kind of enjoying playing them like when videos are rendering or just like you know, just kind of in downtime, stuff like that, you know, when I when I can't really do anything else on my computer. And uh, the last time, I did Ticket to Ride. I don't know if you remember that, but I did Ticket to Ride. I don't know if Jaipur is available um, on Steam or not. Uh, this is on the iPad. I could do a quick search and see if Jaipur is available on Steam. That might be a cool way to, to record it if it is. But right now, no, this is on, this is on my iPad here. And uh, no, I do not see Jiper on Steam, so <laughs> this is this is how you play it on the mobile device. So uh, this is a very simple game. It's a card game. Um, we're gonna see how it works. Uh, let me, I'll explain it to you. We're gonna play a game, and I'm gonna do. I've been doing solo games. I've been doing these four pepper difficulties, and I can win a lot of the time. But just to dial it down a little bit, we're gonna do a three pepper difficulty, and uh, that way I'll have a better chance of winning, and I can I I don't have to focus as much. I can take some time to kind of explain it to you. As we're playing so what happens is there are five cards in the middle this game is all about uh, kind of like a marketplace and you're trying to respond to the market it kind of reminds me like a, it's a little bit of Yahtzee I don't know why simply because you're trying to get like multiple things in a row and there's like different categories that's the only reason it has nothing to do it's nothing like Yahtzee <laughs> but, uh, but basically let me explain they have a tutorial I could have just done the tutorial but I think I can explain it to you guys uh, pretty well uh, who goes first? Let's see. Uh, your turn. So here's what we do. You see how on the left side uh, there are red, yellow, silver, purple, green, brown. Uh, those are you get those tokens for turning in cards. Now for the for the top three you have to turn in at least two cards, um, and for the bottom three you can just turn in a single card. So if I wanted to right now, and each token has value. Uh, as you can see, red uh, is, is the highest at 77555. Five. Yellow, gold is the second highest, 66555, five, and silver is all fives. So those are the values. Down below, it gets even you know less, the but there are more of the ones down below. Purple, you know, it starts with a five, but then goes three, three, two, two, one, one. Eventually, these things deplete in, or decrease into the uh, into the one range. Um, where you really get scores, though is you turn in multiples if you turn in like like if you see on the left i, I don't know like i'm right there there you go see on the left see how those three those are three tokens five tokens and four tokens if you turn in three in a rows you'll get a three token that's worth a set set amount of points four in a rows worth more points five in a rows worth even more the camel gets awarded the camel token right here gets awarded to whoever uh is it has the most camel cards at the end so a turn goes like this you can either take one card you can take, uh, or you can take multiple cards, but if you take multiple cards, you have to trade. You either have to trade your camel cards or your cards in your hand to trade them out, swap them out. And that will then give the opponent a chance to draw those as well. Or you have to take all camel cards from uh, the thing. The camel cards are only useful for trading. Um, that's the only thing they're useful for and for having the most at the end. Um, so I'm gonna play the gold card obviously has the highest value. I already have a green though, so I could be going for like two greens you know but I'm gonna go ahead uh, and just take the gold because I don't want the opponent to have the gold yet so now a brown shows up he decided to take all three camel cards which puts out three more cards the game is over when three of the markets have been depleted uh, you know th of the colors on the left have been depleted or when the deck can no longer be drawn from so there's 36 cards remaining in there when it gets down to zero and then it, it tries to be drawn from then the game's over Whoever has the most points wins. I have zero points right now because I haven't turned anything in. I'm going to draw the green. There's the yellow. He's probably going to take the yellow. Uh, now it's camels. So I'm kind of iffy. Like, I don't really want to take the camels yet because if I take the camels, three new cards are going to show up. He's going to have a chance to draw those. So I'm going to turn in the greens. The two doesn't give me any extra multiplier, but it does give me the two tokens, five and three. So I'll have eight points by playing those two greens. He took a card. He now has full cards. He has seven cards. He can do trades. Keep that in mind. He can trade, but I feel a little more comfortable taking the camels now 
because uh, okay, Brown. Okay, he's gonna probably trade. Yeah, so he t he traded so that he could get uh, those those uh, those. I think the gold that was there. So now I'm looking at I'm looking at the um, the greens as a good opportunity. The purple is also a good opportunity because uh, I'll get another five and three. So, so here's me trading. I'm trading two camels for two purples. So there we go. He turned in browns. He turned in five browns. So you get a five token. Unfortunately, I don't know why the game is like this, but you can't see his score. I wish you could see his score, just so you know. You kind of have to mentally keep track of it. If you're good at mentally keeping track of it, then good. But he turned in five of those tokens, however much those are worth, plus the five bonus token. He he definitely, at the moment, has a higher score than me. So um, I could turn in two purples, or I could be patient. Let me take two more camels. Uh, he's going to take the yellow. No, he's, Yeah, he is. Okay. So, yeah, again, we're kind of in this territory. We're like, well, what do I do? I can take more camels, but it's going to give him the opportunity to draw better stuff. So I think I'm going to turn in two purples and get the five and three, another eight. So I have 16 total. He turned in some gold, unfortunate, but that's what he did. I'm going to take a green. He might take those four camels, yeah. So now, look, I have the first chance to draw at this, which is great. I'm going to take the red, and I could take the, I could take three but I don't really want to. I guess I could. Let me take three. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn in my gold and two camels. I don't, now that the, go the gold is worth five still, that's pretty valuable, but I gotta get one more gold to turn them in and I can only get a two multiplier. So, but look at this, I have, there we go. Oh, wow. Um, what's he gonna do, you think? I'm gonna turn in the greens. He's gonna turn in greens as well. Now, now I have silver and red. I'm going to go ahead and draw the camels. That's a lot of camels. And it's going to give a fresh lineup. He's probably going to take the red. He took the red and the gold. So uh, now I'm looking at it like, well, I know that he he has at least one red. He might have two reds. So I'm going to turn in my three reds. That's going to give me the 775. The, the sevens are the highest valued chips here. It's also going to give me a three multiplier. So I get 775 and the times three multiplier, which gives me a plus two. He turned in a, one single purple, which is fine. I'm going to start. I'm going to take a purple as well. He now has the option. To, he's going to take a green. There's only one green left. So the only reason you would want to take a green is to, you know, to deplete it. You know, you would turn in the green. It would be to zero. Once three of the markets are depleted, the game's over. So I'm going to take a couple browns here. I'm going to turn in two camels for the browns. Even if he takes all four camels, I still have five camels. So that's good where I'm at right now. The gold has been depleted. Um... I could deplete the uh, the green if I wanted to. I don't really want to. I don't know what I want to do, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take all the camels. Here's the thing. He can only he can only draw up to two cards. So no matter what, he can only draw up to two because he has to trade in both cards for the two. He only got one. And gold is now useless. I'll take this just because it's red. What's he going to do now? He's taking the purple. I'm taking a purple, I guess. There's a, Is he going to take the silver? He might. He took the silver, so I have a silver opportunity, but I don't have. So here's what here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna trade the purples for the for the brown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade the for okay the purples. There you go. I now have three silver. Is he gonna turn in silver? Let's see. He's thinking about it. No, he turned in the green. So one more thing depleted, and the game's over, right? So I'm gonna turn in my three silver. I'm gonna get three multiplier along with the 15 from the silver pile. And he's, he, he depleted the silver. So the game is over. I get the camel chip. So that's five extra points in my favor. Let's see who won. Okay, so I lost. I only had 63 points. He had 66. I wish we could have seen that. But it's best two out of three, traditionally. You can choose, it, choose that at the beginning. I chose to do best two out of three. So now I need to really step up my game. And it's a blessing that I start with... It's my turn. I'm going to take this. It's a blessing I start with three of the purples. He took all the camels, which gives me immediate choice into what I draw next. I want all those things, honestly, but I can only really take... Man. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trade in a brown, purple, and that, because I want all of those. He took the purples. That's fair. I want the camels now, because uh, I don't have very many camels left. He's going to take the red, I'm sure. No, he's not. He's turning He's turning in browns. I'm going to take the red. So I have three reds, which is great. He might take both golds. He did. Um, I'm going to turn in my purples. There we go. He's taking camels. What's next? Okay, there we go. Now I have three and three. 
of the of some of the most expensive ones. He turned in some golds. So that's fine. I'm gonna take one camel. That's gonna only push one card out there. Oh, that's a red. He took it. I don't know. He might have some reds to turn in, so I'm gonna turn in my reds. And I got a three multiplier, and I also took those sevens away just in case he were gonna get those sevens. So, so now we're kind of like, well, now what do you want to do? I don't know. I'll take a green. He's turning in greens. So I'm taking another green. He took the browns. I guess I'll take a purple. There's a green. He's turning in browns. I got a green. And of course, I say the color name. Really, you know, silver is silver. Uh, gold is gold. The purple is like clothing or cloth. Uh, the green is like plants, brown shoes. I don't, I don't know, leather. I think leather. It shows you what they are. I, yeah, I think it's leather. But still. All right, I'm going to take all these. He only has two cards, so I'm, I'm not super worried about him making power plays. He took the gold. That's fine. I'm going to take the green, but here's the problem. Uh, I can't take the green. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn in... Uh, what should I do? I, I guess I'll turn in the... Uh, see, oh, you can only have seven cards. I don't think I mentioned that. You can only have seven cards at most. I'm going to turn in the purple. I would hope to get the green next turn. Good for me. I got the green. He's going to probably take that purple. But I have four greens. That's going to deplete... Uh, that's going to deplete the green pile. Oh, a silver. Gosh, darn. I'd rather turn in four silvers. So let's, let's trade... And you, you can't trade one for one. You can either take one or trade multiples. So I'm going to have to take two of these and tr trade them for two greens. And now uh, he might take the greens. But I have four silver. Which is good for me. He's turning in purple. I'm going to go ahead and turn in four silver. That's a lot. I'm going to get the four multiplier chip. Which is another plus five. Nice. He's about to... Only one's been depleted. But... The other two within range. You can't deplete the gold or the silver unless you turn in multiples. You can deplete the purple, green, and brown just by turning in, um, just by turning in uh, one at a time. So again, I don't think he's gonna make power plays. I'm gonna take the goats. I mean, camels, <laughs> goats. I I now get a fifth. Now here's here's the, the the trick here. I have five. I'm only gonna get those four tokens, but I do get the five multipliers still. And I deplete the green. So this is a good score for me. I'm now at uh, 72, which is a darn good score. Um, I really don't want anything else. Uh, but I might try to make a play to deplete something quickly. Because if we can deplete something quickly, then... Um, I want to prevent him from turning in silver, I guess. He might take the gold... Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna t I'm gonna try to turn in two silver if I can. Oh no, he took the last card. So the camel is awarded to me. Another five. I have 77 points, and that's a victory against him. 77 against 65. So now uh, we got to do the tiebreaker round here. Best two out of three. Let's see what I get. Uh, let's see what's okay. I got I got silver and gold. He be he goes first though. He took both the silver and gold. I don't really have a play other than taking the camels. Which should be fine. I could take the camels. Uh, but I could go ahead and turn in the greens. And just kind of... Uh, or I could turn in the, the one brown. I'd rather turn in the one brown. That's a four points immediately. He might take the camels. Then I get first choice out of everything here. Oof. Um, so I want to trade in the greens for the reds. So that, that leaves him an opportunity to take three greens. But whatever. I got the reds now. And he's turning in gold. I'm going to start slowly taking the greens back if I can. He might take the greens or the purple. He took the greens and the purples. Yikes. I'm going to take all the goat, the, the camel. I don't know why I keep trying to call them goats. The camels. He turned into a bunch of greens. I'm going to take more camels. A lot of brown out here. Jeez Louise, a lot of brown. Um. Now, the cool thing about turning in browns is that you get a big multiplier. So, what do I want to do? Um... I could forego the gold. And I could take four of those. Trade them for these. That way I'll be able to turn in. Yeah, I knew he was going to draw that. Oh, now there's silver there. So now, now I want to trade back. Because the silver is more important to me. So I want the silver and I just have to pick one more. So I'll go with the uh, green. 
Oh boy. Okay, this is getting intense. Okay, wow. Two of those. Those browns are going back in. I now have four of the red. That is a very good move. He's taking one brown. Oh, the other red too? Okay, so now here's where it gets tricky. I gotta, I gotta forego a silver in exchange for that red. But I, I'm gonna get... Oh man. Okay, I gotta get... Sure, I'll do that. Both silvers are going out, I guess. Or actually... I don't, I don't want to give them both silvers. I'm gonna do this, and you can't trade the same color, so... Uh, there we go. That's a good trade. I got five... I'm turning it... I'm depleting all the reds right now. Check that out. That is a big score. 42 points. He's turning in some browns. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna start taking more camels. I have, like, all... I'm gonna definitely win the camel token. He took the silver, unfortunately. I'm gonna take two golds. And I can just trade the camels straight up for that. In fact, I could I could trade uh, for the brown too. He took the camels. He needs camels, but does he really? I can now take these as well. So I have three browns. Okay, I'm gonna turn in my two silver. Cause it's been, so yeah, there we go. Wow. I guess I'll take all the camels. I'm at 52, This I may not win this one. I want both of these. He just depleted the green and ended the game. Oh, man. He might have won that one. Because I only have 57 points. Yeah, 57 to 74. Sorry, you've just lost the game. So, that's how you play. I'm going to win one, though. Because this isn't so hard to win. I don't know why I'm not doing as well. So, let me do... I'm going to do the spiciest. I'm going to do the hardest level. We're going to do best two out of three again. And uh, we're going to see if I can come through with a victory here. Because he managed to, to, to get me, but I'm going to get him this time. So each person gets five random cards. If they're camels, they go into your camel pile. That's how it starts. I go first. I'll take the green. I'm not too keen on any on letting him. He's going to take that, of course. Uh, I guess I'll take another green. He's going to take the silver. He's getting better cards initially. I'll take another green, but lucky me, I have three greens. He's going to take the green. Um, I'll take the silver, I guess. He's going to take a silver. So this is really, really crazy. Um, I'm going to then, you know, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, what should I do? I'll turn in the browns. I'll turn in the greens because I have three greens. I'll get the I'll get the most the top scoring greens right there in case he decides to turn in greens. He's turning in silver. Uh, I could then turn in browns as well. I want him to... Yeah, there we go. I want to be the guy who... Ugh. I gotta take all the camels. And what this is bad for me because it just gives him a premium selection. He can choose whatever he wants. I'm gonna take both browns. He's gonna maybe take the can- no, he's turning he's turning in reds. I'll take a green. He's gonna take the gold. He's having he's having the most luck here. Out of any of it. He can take the purple. I don't I'm not going for purples. Once more, I can take all the camels, or I can turn in three browns, get a three multiplier. I'm going to turn in green because I want him to take... The, uh. All right. Well, he can only take one card. I have a bunch of camels, so he's probably going to take the red, but I can take... Yeah, I can take both the red and the silver here. So I have two of each. I might as well end the silver because uh, that's 10 points right there. Uh, I guess I'll take that. Uh, so I'll take both of those. I'll take the gold. I'm only at 37. I have three greens. He took camels, but I still have more camels than he does. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get both of these uh, golds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade these two for those. Turning into three golds depletes the golds. And then I'm in charge here now. I'm going to turn in both of these. It's not depleted, but I can deplete him immediately now by simply turning in these two greens. Three markets are depleted. I get the camel chip. And does that be leaving with a higher score than him? Yes, indeed. 71 to 65. So there we go. That was much better. Uh, what I want to do then is win this one or the next one and then come out as a victor. And I was lucky to win that because he had a lot of the lucky draws. 
Um, we don't. I don't know what he has. He doesn't know what I have. But he begins. He takes the camels. That means I get first choice, which is always good for me. Um, so I'm gonna take uh, the two golds, trading a green, and then I'll guess I'll take the other green. He's gonna turn in a green. I'm gonna take a third green. My cards are maxed out. Oh, I really want that though. So what I have to do now is I have to. I have to make a trade. So I take the brown and the red, trade them. He's turning in browns already. Um, this is tough because... Here, I'll, I'll just take the camels. Oh man, the red showed up. He's going to take the red. Darn it. Um, but here's the thing. I'm going to turn in the uh, the two silvers. Oh, that's, that's good actually. So, oh man. Okay. Here, I'll take the red. I was trying to get all the greens. Oh my gosh, so many greens. I'm trying to make a good play here. Do I just... Here, I'll get rid of the reds. I don't know if I can... Oh, okay. Mm, he took... That's okay. I have three greens. He's turning in some greens. Whatever. Here we go. I have the most camels still. There's a yellow there. He's going to take the yellow. I knew it. Oh, uh, but there's another one. Now, he might have a matching yellow... I don't even want to take the red anymore because there's only one red. So he didn't he did not turn in the, the gold, so that that tells me he doesn't have two. I would think he would turn in the, the two gold. I'm gonna turn in the three uh, greens in hopes of getting three purples. I should have traded for the purples. I didn't think about that. I should have traded for the three purples. That's what I should have done. But that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna take all three of these. I'm gonna He's gonna turn in purples as well. I'm gonna turn in a couple browns. Whatever. He's turning in silver. I'm turning in purples. I'm only at 33. There we go. Now I have four of these. That's great. He's, I don't care about silver right now. I'm going to take the goats. I want to make sure he doesn't really have any goat plays left. He took the red, but the red does not even matter to me anymore. Um, I'll take a green, I guess. I can end the round if that's like the last one left, you know? You know, I can get a three multiplier here. So that's good. That's one depleted. Got to keep an eye out. There's also five cards left, so th this could end sooner than later. So... I'm going to do this. Two, three. That's a gold. Okay, he took the gold. He might have two now. It's almost over, so I'm going to turn in my gold. And he took that, ending the game, giving me the camel token. That leaves me with 70. What does he have? Oh, I won. 70 to 64. So there you go. I just won two in a row on the hardest difficulty. That's how you play the game. There's also a campaign mode on this game that I haven't even touched. And I was saving it for this for this recording here. So we're going to go into campaign. I, I don't even know what it's like. But I'm going to see what the campaign mode of this game is like. Um, my name is Zach. Zach. Scott. Hello, Zach Scott. I am Chandi, and I will be assisting you with your business. We are but small merchants in the province of Bonswara for the moment, but who knows? We could be the greatest merchants in all of Rajasthan in a couple of months, and even settle down in Jaipur. Uh, let's start by trading in Bonswara in order to gain the monopoly here. All right, trading in Bonswara is rather easy. Uh, the region is known for its fast trading. A single round is enough to win the game. So, trade or do nothing? I don't know. Let's trade, I guess. And I guess what this means is we're just going to play another round in the campaign. And this is going to be an easy one. So, we're going to see how we do on an, on an easy campaign. This region is known for its fast trading. So, I guess what it's saying is the bot is going to trade quickly. Yeah, so he traded, like, immediately. And I'm not going to do that, but I guess he might. So he might trade as soon as he has an open trade. I'm going to turn in the four. The four is a good a good opening move to take all those high-value tokens and get the four uh, bonus tokens. So to me, that looks good. There's a red. He's taking the red. I need more camels. Ooh, he took a lot of those. I'll take the camels. 
Okay, that's good. The silver, oh man, all of that's good. All of that is good. Um, I'm gonna take all of it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. That's amazing. I can take the camels, and I get, again have first choice. I'm gonna turn in the greens. So I guess he's making, okay, he took, a, man, he's taking a lot of stuff. There's another, I want those silvers. He's probably gonna take them. He only took one? All right, I'll take another one. He can't turn in just one, but he might have two. Yeah, he had two, that's okay, I'll turn in four. And I only get three of the five tokens, but I get the four multiplier. Uh, I just don't know what this guy's deal is. I'm taking all the camels again. Okay, he, so he, I guess he would prefer trading rather than collecting. He's gonna take that now though. And I'll take this one. Yeah, he took the two sevens there. I'm gonna take these. This could be over sooner rather than later, so let's just turn that in. And when I turn in the gold, it should end the round. Unless he turns in like browns or something first. So there we go, I ended the round, I have the most camels. I get that, so 79 points. And that clearly was a really quick victory. Um, and I won that one. And so we're done. So this is what the campaign is like, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the heck that was. It was some sort of like achievement or something that popped down. Uh, so yeah, and I won again, so I got two camels and some ru rubies, and okay. And I have no idea what these are for, by the way. Official Merchant Monopoly in the region, day two. Congratulations, you just won the Monopoly in the Bonsoir region. This is where your little house is. This is only a start. Now you must go visit other regions and try to defeat the local merchants. Each victory will earn you jewels and rubies to improve your palace or deal with future events. To continue, I advise you to start with the with the region in the northeast, uh, Dungapur, by simply touching this region. Good luck and see you in the capital, Jaipur. So Noah, two camels, day two. I don't know what that means, but uh, they say northeast. Is this starting? To, oh, I, okay. So I uh, north. Is this north north. They say northwest or south. What? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I have enough to trade here. So yes. So I set to spin rubies to trade here. Trading in Dungapur is rather easy. Goods have a steady price. There, uh, There is therefore no rush to sell your stock. Also, a single round is enough to win the game. So what, what, what changes here in this particular mode is that goods, okay. Okay, so the, the if you look at the chips, they're different from the regular chips. Reds have sevens. They all have seven, six, five, three, two, one. And uh, so that's what they mean by goods having a steady price. And so, Really, there's no rush to trade, but I could indeed want to trade in order to uh, get a good multiplayer, I guess, going. So he's going to probably take that. Well, he only took one. I, I thought he would take both. So there's gold. Um, so I'm going to be saving up for combos. I don't know why he traded. There's no need to trade already. Um, so I'll just take one camel to expose that. He took the purple. I'm not into the purple right now. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's just trade in the the yellows. Three a three multiplier is good. I need I need room to deal here. I'll take all the camels again. I need both of those. Oh, he just traded. So yeah, I don't know why he didn't save up, but I'm gonna take both of these. Three and two. Now I might as well just trade in the red. Red's no longer in play. We're done with red. So now I'm basically going to be working towards combos, I would say. Like, just nice little... He doesn't have anything. So I'm going to take all... He can only take one card. I'm going to take all the camels. He can only He's going to take that one, of course. But that's fine. Uh, I'm going to take, like, three of these. And then make a really good times five trade. And I only get one point per. But I get the times five, which is another nine points. So that's good. Uh, what else should I work on, you know? I don't know. Let's see what's unveiled. We need to get rid of these silvers. Oh, he just... I can't believe he's got rid of a silver. Oh my god, what is he doing? Uh, that was a good move, but I mean... Still, what is he doing? He's going to not deplete that. This will be depleted, though. I'm actually worried. Let me trade this one, because uh, I'm going to deplete the green after this, and I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, he doesn't have any cards. He's gonna take the camels. Makes sense. Those are both worth five, so I'll take them. He might win the camel token, but... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to just I have a, I have a score of 84. That's pretty good. I'm gonna end the round here. He's gonna get the camel token, but uh, I'm gonna have 93 points, so that's really high. Uh, I don't think that can be overcome. So uh, 93 to 54. Congratulations, you just won the round and the game. So the 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 campaign mode's interesting. Um, this is just a quick play. I'm not gonna like do a full series on the campaign of a card game, but uh, just so you know, I think it's interesting. I don't know what the jewels are for, but uh, constant price mode, victory with goods, the steady price, good for me. Uh, hello, uh, Namaste, uh, hello, Zach Scott, I just heard your name at the market where everybody speaks only of you. I thought to myself, someone as important as you surely could help an old person like me. My flute doesn't earn me enough to eat anymore, would you give me 10 rupees? Okay. Sure. Now what? Shorina, here is a piece of advice in return for your generosity. If you meet the greedy general Prabhu, pay up rapidly. It will save you money. So pay Prabhu as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's good advice to know. Um, so now we're going to go to this next region. Trading in Udaipur is rather easy. This region is full of traveling merchants. The merchants are therefore mobile, and you don't have much storage. The hand... Okay, it's limited to five cards. Okay. So they're throwing a wrench in every time. So this time, um, we're limited to five cards. Everything else is the same. But that's interesting that we're limited. So we're only starting with three. So uh, my turn, I don't even know. I'll take all of these, I guess. Okay, he took a red. I'm gonna take both silver. Took a purple. I'm gonna take camels. See, I would love to take those three greens, but I'm limited, so I'll turn in my silver. Oh, he, d he did take the three, but he left me the red, so thank you. I'm gonna take both of these. He can only take one card. All right, I gotta turn in that. Yeah, I took the silver, but I gotta turn this in. Man, um, sure. He's gonna grab the gold. Darn, that's worth six points. Okay. Two greens. I mean, that's not really even worth it. But brown is worth more than that. I'm definitely going to get the camel score here. Darn, man. I don't know how many golds he has. I'm going to get rid of my golds. I'm going to try to take those. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take these two. So now I have four. I'm going to deplete. Gosh, dang it. Hold on. So no, I I know I, I really need that, so whatever. I had a good play, but take both of those. Yeah. Uh. All right, three right there. Still taking the silver. He won't be able to play that unless he has two. I'm basically just looking for the... Yeah, there we go. If I get three, that'll be great. But I'm not going to bank on it yet. Oh my gosh, he's going to get that, isn't he? Oh, man. I guess I don't want him to get this gold, so I'll just take it for now. Oh, great. So he now at least has two, so I'm going to turn in my two to be sure to get ten points. He's going to turn it in. He's going to deplete it. Um, you know, I don't know what the ultimate strategy here should be, but if I if I collect the, the browns, then maybe I'll get another brown. This will pretty quickly end the game. If he takes one. Yeah. So I get the camel token. Do I have enough points to win, though? I hope so, but... Oh, I did. Yeah, 68 to 60. Very cool. Okay, so... Is it best two out of three? Oh, it's best two out of three with this with this guy. That's fine. But we have... Uh, okay, I can, I can handle that. Your opponent begins. He's probably going to take the silver. I, too, will take a silver, then. You take the green... 
I'm gonna take some uh, of those. Gold, darn. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is tough. Ouch. All right. Man. I was trying my best. Uh, I have more camels. I don't know if that really counts. I mean, he's going to turn into reds, though, pretty quickly. Oh, man. Yeah, good. Because he's turning... Well, good for me that I got the gold. I really don't know what to do. Uh, I guess I'll just turn in the silver. Because I'm running out of space. I should probably collect the green. I'm gonna get this red though. Actually, I'm gonna get the green and the red. I should've taken the purple. Why, why was I looking at the green? Whatever. I'm gonna deplete the gold here. Maybe grab three brown just so I can get the uh, the trade boost. Nope, never mind. Purple. Yeah, purples are not as good anymore. Um. I don't know. He's probably gonna take the green. Oh my gosh. He just took two gr Are you kidding me? Um, okay. Brown. Let's trade in this and this for these two. Green's gone. If one more thing is gone, then, uh, oh, great. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll cash those in. What the heck? Well, I'm gonna make this move. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna turn in four and get the times four multiplier. And he ended the game. I get the camel token again, so I think I'm gonna win the second round. All right, I won by 10 points. If he would've gotten the camel token, it, it, it would've tied. Because I would've had 70, he would've had 70. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. We got uh, three camels, 143 rupees, and five jewels. Reduces hand size mode. So we, we won a victory with the hand size reduced to five cards. Okay, cool. So now, basically, we just go through here and try to win a bunch of different matches. So this is a fun mode, a fun way to do it. Gives you a lot of variety. This is a quick play, though. We can't do everything. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in this game, you know, you can download it on... Uh, I'm playing on my mobile device, my iPad. It's on for, for, for phones as well. Uh, you can create an account and play online. Um, this company makes a lot of games. If you take a look at more games, you got uh, you got Ticket to Ride, which I showcased already. Catan, uh, which I have. I haven't showcased it, but I might. Mysterium, I played that. That's a cool game to showcase. Uh, Owner Rim, another cool game that I might showcase in a quick play. So thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.